are you doing? What are you talking about? This. What's up with the mask? Oh, this. Well, since 1990 in Earth years, when they launched the telescope called Hubble, every time it looked this way, I've shown this mask. Their intelligence agencies now think that aliens look like this. Cool. But this is a typical Fermatrionian face from the Gabulon galaxy. Humans could start hunting them. That's what I'm trying to do. If their technologies develop well, one day they'll fly into Pharmatrion and destroy them. Hold on, you're in debt to the Pharmatrionian bookies. What was your loss? Well, let's just say I took a really bad guess at the winner of the Citrus War between Trantonians and Quasibordians. Why are you bugging me all of a sudden? Just like your mother. By the way, I haven't heard from her in a while. You're awful and bring me shame, you little unicorns rainbow! Yeah, I get why she's the boss. She swears much better than any of us. Should we give her a call? Find out how to save this stinky galaxy? If it wasn't for saving... Computer, call the commander! Damn it. No connection to the base. It's probably been destroyed or they abandoned us. It means... We're gonna die! We can do whatever we want! <laughs> yeah! Great nose job! But where did you find a donor? Never mind. What's important, it was fun. These birds are so dumb! You just made a section of the wall invisible, and they forgot how to use ultrasound. Stupid levitating food. Dude, no one will get the kicker. Why? I leaned it five degrees more! Maybe they won't get it, but the perfectionists will definitely shoot themselves. Sometimes I feel our senses of humor are way too different. Look, if we're the only ones left, maybe we should start a new civilization. Procreate? I won't procreate with you. But asking Ali and Pacino for advice would be a good idea. Computer, show the tutorial about the end of the civilization. Ha! Aliens Resource presents... My name is Alien Pacino. I'm the sole actor, director, cameraman, and the only virgin vampire. You might have seen me in the movie Earth Jam, where my race got me involved in a basketball game against replicas. The score so far is 2-0 in their favor. If you're watching this movie, it means you're the last living beings in your population. It's really simple. You need to choose a leader, where to assimilate, and hoo-ah! Getting a little sick of having to turn off the camera myself. Well, it's good advice overall. I suggest starting our civilization on the moon. Yeah, the moon's a great choice. These bags of flesh know nothing about its dark side yet. They evolved to walk, but here the progress somehow stopped. Who's gonna be the leader? Everyone knows who the leader is. I christen thee Snutville, V2.0. <clears throat> and I named this planet Snut as a stinking loser. So everyone knows who the leader means your skinny ass? Your thick head doesn't get it. It's better not to start a civilization with a leader like that. Screw you! I'm the coolest leader ever. I would've made you my right hand. Easy boy. Let's deal with this wisely, as they do on Earth. Military invasion by a more financially developed country? One way to do it. But better to have what they call elections. Eh, good idea. We can try. Snot, I encourage you to vote for me. Because your leader, as he calls himself, Snot, is an ugly freak. Our ship smells like Earth because of him. Blatant lies, dear Mr. Gubb. I suggest you vote for me. Because the leader of your party, Gub, likes to sleep in girls' pajamas. Everyone knows it's more comfortable. What's going on over there? Why are you on the moon? Yay! You're alive, Mom! I mean, Commander. You can call me Mom, my boy. Why are you on the moon? Mom, the thing is... And you, dummy, cannot call me that. Uh, Commander, we couldn't contact you and thought our civilization died. So we started our own. And what kind of nonsense is that? You couldn't call me because I was at the annual corporate team building orgy? And let me tell you, I mellowed out royally. Now I get why she's so calm. Finally chilled out a bit. I have a lot of questions for my father right now. Guys, get back to the ship and be nice to each other. You won't make it out of this awful planetary system alone. You're a team, and it's your strength. Over and out. Actually, she's right. Why are we fighting? I couldn't care less who the leader is, but I was right about the reason your mom's always angry. Your dad gives us a headache as well. Shut up, man.